Hello everyone, this is the Mining Geologist and I'm back again with another very exciting and very informative tutorial. Today's tutorial is going to be a short one, but trust me, it is going to be very, very informative and also mind-blowing. Now, as you guys noticed that in the previous videos, I've been sharing things related to Python, whether it is the ordinary Kriging from scratch in Python or the combination between Micromon and Python to create something incredible. And today I'm going to show you something that's going to uh, save you a lot of time if you are already familiar with Python and you're doing things in Python, or to get you started in Python and it's going to help you solve you know, some small problems. And uh, basically we're going to be using a tool. It's an extension that you can install in the interpreter here in uh, Visual Code uh, Studio Code from Microsoft. And this extension, it's I just you know uh, got access uh, access to this one yesterday, and I've been playing around with uh, the different things that I can do with this extension, and uh, I'm really shocked with how far you know people were able to do things with artificial intelligence and since this extension is actually powered by the uh, open ai and it is called the github copilot and what this extension allows you to do is uh, basically let's say that you want to create a function that you know what the function does but you're lazy to either write that function or you don't know the different you know methods and uh, you know other functions that your libraries that you're gonna use in order to create that one so you can give like text instruction inside the interpreter itself either it is just a text or a command and the copilot is going to create the function for you and this is going to help us a lot so let's just dive into this one and show you you know a few examples here so you get the idea so I have an interpreter here so basically you know that in Python we start with importing a bunch of libraries and modules and then we start coding so let's say as a geoscientist let's say that we want to create a function like we've done in the ordinary Kriging from scratch uh, video a function that's going to calculate the distance between two different points so let's say write I mean write a function that calculates the distance uh, between two two points or oh, let's make them two 3d points so that uh, we test it here if it's going to know that we need the, uh, you know the elevation or the Z coordinates for example so let me go and click on enter and now we, by the way you need to have access to internet because this is going to try to understand what you're saying there and collecting all the different things that needs to be done and you will see that this one is going to try and create uh, this function for us so you can see that we have that line in there all I have to do is to click on tab so we've defined a function called distance and it takes x1, x1, y1, z1, x2, y2, z2 and then you can see inside the function too we already have that we've uh, we have a variable called dist that takes all of these and calculates the distance and this is basically the equation of the distance and it returns the distance this is just mind blowing you know trust me this is gonna save you a lot of time and even if you're just getting started with Python now if you have that thing that idea in your mind you can give instruction to this you know uh, to uh, copilot and it's gonna give you like uh, ideas about how you are going to create this one so if it's really complex so for example we cannot say write a function that creates ordinary Kriging from scratch that's not gonna be currently possible but maybe in the future uh, when a lot of people are gonna be using this one and I do believe that since it is powered by AI it's gonna try to collect some of the codes that we're doing and maybe try to use that 
for like uh, future requests. So if you create an ordinary Kriging, let's say, uh, script, and uh, that one is going to be collected by this plugin, when someone else is going to say, hey, I want to create a function that does ordinary Kriging, that second person might be able to create that one. So I believe that in the future, this is going to be more helpful and have access to more data. So let's try and do another example here. Let's say, um, I don't know, like something simple like uh, calculate it. Let's say write a function that cal calculates the volume of a sphere. So maybe you forget how to calculate the volume of a sphere and you want to create that function like to use it for a complex, I don't know, uh, see, now it gives you like, uh, maybe you want this to be given its radius. So you know that it, the copilot actually understands what you're writing. So let's make it given the, its radius and see if this is going to give us something or not. So let's wait a little bit. So it's trying to collect some data and uh, let's see if this is going to uh, solve the problem. Okay, maybe sometimes you need to press enter here and uh, let's wait. It could take some time based on the complexity. See, define vol and it takes the uh, rad. Okay, and let me go and it, take, it returns that that's this is just you know guys this is really mind-blowing okay this is really mind-blowing and um, maybe let's take a look at something else or write a function that plots the uh, histogram histogram of a um, data frame let's say colon okay so let me see if this is gonna create that one now we're plotting something here and let's see if it is going to understand that or not so I'm still playing around with this uh, plugin here and I know that this is gonna save me a lot of time especially when I'm trying to create these small functions that I will need for a bigger script this is gonna save you a lot of time and like I've mentioned in the beginning if you're just getting started and this is one way to learn Python. So you don't have to go and search online on how to do this one. And there you go, diff uh, plot histogram. It even creates the name that is relevant to the problem. And it takes a DF, a data frame, and takes the colon. And OK, so what's next? Plot the histogram of a data frame. And you can see that we have a command here also that describes what is the operation that we're doing. And you can see that it takes the uh, the data frame, uh, the column, and plus the histogram, and use PLT to show which is for um, uh, for uh, you know uh, matplotlib. Okay. So th the second thing that you need to do is, if it's going to use, for example, NumPy, all you need to do is to add in the lines of import NumPy as np. Of course. Make sure to command this, this out later on so that you don't have problems running the code. And the code most of the time is going to work fine. So this short tutorial, uh, you know, I've learned a lot. Uh, I mean, like uh, when I used this one, it was really helpful for me. I hope you guys have learned something new today and it's going to save you a lot of time and help you as a geoscientist or uh, someone who's getting started with Python, please let me know in the comments below if you want to see more tutorials about Python or you want me to get back to like different softwares and exploring different techniques in these packages. And if you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe and hit that like button and see you in the next video.